Welcome back! Today we are going to be working on Project 5 in the Adreno Project book. This project is a mood cue. For this project, we'll be using a potentiometer, servo motor, motor arm, capacitors, header pins, and jumper wires. This is the first time that we'll be using a servo motor that will do programming to move to specific angles. So let's start building our board. As we always start out, we're going to connect our power bus to our power source and our ground. Next we're going to attach the potentiometer to the breadboard. It has two pins on one side and a single pin on the other. The two pins are to be connected to the ground and the power, while the third pin on the alternate side will be connected to our board. And I do fumble with the header pins quite a bit. I end up um, kind of giving up on them and just using jumper wires to connect my board and all the pieces to the servo. And what I was wondering into was that they just weren't long enough. Um, they were too short to be connected to the servo. If I put the long ends into the servo, then it was too short to be connected to the board. Next, I inserted my capacitors into the um, potentiometer and also one for the servo itself. Um, Again, like these are much like the LEDs, the long end is going to be the anode, and the short end is going to be the cathode. And here I am just kind of modifying my jump wires a little bit, just so I can get my capacitor in there for my servo but everything will be hooked up. That just looks a little bit different from the book, um, how they did it. But that's just because I'm not using the header pins and I'm using these kind of longer jump wires. So in our code, we're going to include the servo library in our header, and this is going to make it pretty easy for us to program our little servo. So we're making a servo object, and then we're also creating some variables that will help us um, get the values and stuff from the potentiometer. Also going to be using a mapping function in our code, which is kind of neat because it creates like a ratio for a potentiometer from 0 to 179 instead of the 0 to 1023 that it normally has.
values coming in from our board, but the values weren't changing at all when I was using the potentiometer, and what happened was that like I forgot that first hookup, so I did end up hooking it up to the board, and um, I also had some issues with the potentiometer not being seated all the way in, and so when I would bump it, it would like shoot it straight back down to zero. So you just kind of have to watch out for these things and kind of fix it as you go. And so here it is me fixing my connections and playing around with the potentiometer and getting it working correctly. Now you can see that the angle values are changing when I'm moving the potentiometer back and forth. And that zero hit is just when I bumped it because it wasn't seated properly. And this is what it looks like when the device is in action when I add my little paper arrow and then my little paper base here to indicate how I'm feeling. So next week we are going to be creating a light theremin, which I am super excited about. This is the project that I'm probably most about excited about in the whole book.